Hello and welcome to another video where today I'll be taking you through what break-even and margin of safety are within accounting. Let's start out with break-even then. So break-even is the point at which a business makes neither a profit or a loss, i.e. it's the point at which it hits zero. The business has managed to make enough money to cover all of its costs, but at this stage hasn't made any profit. So imagine for a second that I had a business with £100,000 in costs. I would therefore need to generate £100,000 worth of profit from sales in order to cover those costs before starting to make an actual profit. Now that is relatively straightforward. However, most businesses will want to know how many units it needs to sell in order to cover its costs. This is why the break-even point is often measured as the output level, such as the units manufactured or services provided. The formula for the calculation of break-even in units of output is as follows. Fixed costs divided by the contribution per unit. But let's break that down. So for us to be able to calculate the break-even point, we need to know what the contribution per unit of output is. Now, contribution is the difference between what a product or service is sold for and the variable costs that are going into making it. As the variable costs must be incurred in making a product, this leaves the amount of money the business has left over to cover its other costs and then generate profit. Let's imagine that I sold ice cream for £3 each and for each ice cream costs £1 to make. That would mean that I have a contribution per ice cream or per unit of £2 because for each ice cream I'm selling, I'm contributing £2 towards my overheads. This is why the amount made by each unit is often referred to as contribution rather than profit because until fixed costs are covered, you're not actually making a profit. So contribution is calculated as a selling price per unit less the variable cost per unit. The information that we therefore need to calculate the break-even is the selling price per unit and the variable cost per unit. This will allow us to calculate the contribution per unit. We then need the fixed cost of the business. These will often relate to overhead such as the rent of the building, insurance, machine maintenance, etc. Let's now have a look at a case study to see how this works. You've been provided with the following costing information from Hawkins Limited, who are looking to introduce a new product to their range. So we have the selling price at 380, variable costs at 120, and an increase in fixed costs to the business of 148,200. Hawkins Limited have asked how many units they would need to sell in order to break even. Now the first step would be to calculate the contribution per unit and to do that we take the selling price of £380 and take off the variable costs of £120. This would give us a contribution per unit of £260. Now take the fixed costs of £148,200 and divide this by the contribution per unit of £260. This gives us a break even of 570 units. This means the business would have to produce and sell 570 units in order to cover the fixed costs. If we wanted to convert this into how much money we need to generate in sales to break even rather than units, i.e. the break even in revenue, we can take the break even in units of 570 and multiply this by the selling price of 380 to give the business a break even in revenue of 216,600 pounds. So that covers the break-even section of this video. Let's now talk about margin of safety. A business's margin of safety is the amount by which planned sales exceed the break-even point. Managers can utilize the margin of safety to know how much sales can decrease before the company or project becomes unprofitable. The higher the margin of safety, the less risk it is for the business. It means that if sales are not as good as expected, then there is more scope for them at least to break even and therefore not lose money. Margin of safety can be expressed as either a number of units, a sales revenue amount or a percentage. Let's now bring back our previous case study and see how this would work. So Hawkins Limited budgeted to produce and sell 800 units. We already have calculated the break-even point earlier within the video at 570 units. To calculate the margin of safety in units, simply find the difference between the planned sales in units and the break-even in units. 
in this scenario, that would be 800 units minus 570 units equals 230 units. The margin of safety would therefore be 230 units. So what we're saying here is that the business could lose up to 230 unit sales before the project becomes unprofitable. So let's now say we wanted to convert this to the margin of safety in sales revenue. All we need to do is multiply the margin of safety in units by the selling price per unit. This would therefore be 230 units multiplied by 380 pounds, which equals 87,400 pounds. This means that the business could lose up to 87,400 in revenue from its budgeted figures before it becomes unprofitable. Lastly then, let's look at how we display this as a percentage. To display margin of safety as a percentage, we use the following formula. Budgeted sales units minus break-even units over budgeted sales units times 100. Let's now apply this to our scenario. To get the margin of safety as a percentage, take the margin of safety in units of 230 and divide this by the budgeted sales units of 800. 230 over 800 multiplied by 100 equals 28.75%. This represents the percentage of sales that the business could lose before becoming unprofitable. And that wraps up this video on break even and margin of safety. I hope you found it useful. Remember, if you have to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more accounting videos. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.